The supply chain crisis is escalating. Record backlogs of container ships are hitting ports in the U.S., and the Port of Los Angeles is bearing the brunt of it. It is estimated nearly half a million shipping containers are waiting to be offloaded outside the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. Ports also facing a shortage of workers. Joining me now is Port of Los Angeles CEO Gene Sirocco. And Gene, the Port of L.A. recently did announce a new program to try and ease the issue Talk about what you're seeing, and the biggest question this morning, what are you going to do to help all these ships out? We're doing just about everything, Cheryl, and good morning. We've got about those half million 20-foot equivalent units, which is 250,000 containers, or about two weeks' worth of work here at the largest port in the country. Three segments of workers. Number one, the longshore workers, the dock workers who move all the cargo on and off the vessels, trains, and trucks. They've been out on the job six days a week. We've added another 1,000 longshore members, and they've been showing up with record productivity. In fact, vessel production is up 50%, 5-0 since the surge began last summer. And each ship that comes to the Port of Los Angeles, on average, is exchanging 11,300 container units loaded off and on those ships, which is the best of the world today. Truckers, though, are a little bit light. Only about half of those truckers registered to do business at the Twin Ports are coming to work at least once a week. We need more folks in that sector. They've left to go to package service and other segments of industry. And then thirdly, the warehouse workers. They typically work during the day only and have been hit pretty hard by COVID-19 and other requirements of the workforce. We need more folks on the job there as well. Okay, so you're still seeing pandemic effects there. I want to bring in my colleague Nancy Tangler, Nancy, because obviously this is a bigger story, a lot to unpack in this, Nancy. Yeah, Cheryl, and thank you so much, Jean. I, my, my question really is around the truckers. I think um, I, I know that isn't your purview, but are you working with uh, with the trucking companies? And what is the administration and the uh, Secretary of Transportation saying about all of this? Because it's not only your port, but now there's uh, dozens of ships uh, sort of hovering off Savannah. So we just continue to have this problem across uh, across the country, though. Understandably, uh, Long Beach and L.A. Are, are are key. What you're seeing is the American consumer's strength on display every day. We're buying more cargo than ever. We're in the midst of our seasonal products as well as year-end holidays all converging at one time. But you're right. We've got a trucker shortage nationwide with a 20% attrition rate. We've got to show folks that this is a, pro a profession to attract, recruit, and retain drivers in this sector. Very important to all of us. We're working very closely with the administration and senior officials led by John Percari, our port envoy uh, assigned by the White House, and trying to move everything we can. We've created a program called Accelerate Cargo LA, pushing cargo out to importers because cargo is sitting longer than ever before. About half of the products on our docks are sitting five days or longer, and an amazing one quarter of those containers sitting 13 days or more. Okay. We've got to push this cargo out, match it up with truck power, and get corresponding exports and empties back here to the